I, um, you know, since I'm still questioning faith, I still um, am wondering that myself. And the same goes with, you know, the same can be said. You got to speak into the mic, Revelator. Okay, is this better? Straight into the mic so we can actually hear you. I don't like have a mic on me, but, you know, I have my, lot, I have my laptop and headset. You, sound, you, sound, okay. you sound great right there. So... Let me try to let me let me configure something real quick. Let's see, he is. Long as you have your mic, mic will hear you. Okay, how's this now? Still a little echoey, but you're good to go. So go ahead. It's about as good as I can get it. Okay. Anyhow, the same same applies to not just a power of prayer, but it applies to a variety to a variety of things. I just I'm trying as you know, as much as I'm looking, I just don't see any any evidence to support how say when you get in a car accident, right, and you survive it, I don't see how that's a miracle. We don't either. I just don't see. I've survived I don't three see car how accidents now. I think uh Four, right, five, so, four or five myself. You know, I, you know, I'm trying to get myself to believe in God, but I don't want, you know, I still believe there's a God out there, but I just don't see, you know, and one thing you need to you need to take consideration to is that when we go out to the stars, when we go out into space, you know, all that we know right now could be easily debunked. So I am thinking, where does God come into the picture here? You know what I'm saying? Poor God. So I mean, so it seems like you're having difficulty with. Yeah, okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you to just point. Blank. You know, if you're, do you if, do you, you believe know, God um, exists? Oh, Revelator. Let me ask you. Let, let me ask you point blank. If, if do you're, you believe if you're God in exists? somewhere like Syria, right? Revelator. Hang on a second. You managed to survive a mass bombing raid. I Revelator, don't see can you how hear that's me? Merely a miracle by God. So the one thing that confused me is that God gives free will. Right? He gave us free will. Okay, so if he gives us free will, how is it that he divinely intervenes as well? With miracles. If all life has free will, right? Because all life does. You know, dogs have free will. It's not like they're all controlled, like what the Jews are saying. You know, the Orthodox Jews, they say that all the humans have free will. Have, um, yeah, all, all life doesn't have free will, only humans have free will. So I just don't understand the correlation there. Because if you really pay attention, it's obvious that all of the life has free will, right? Okay, so all life has free will. Then <clears throat> riddle me this. How is it that you have all these miracles being performed? Right? You have all these miracles being being performed. Well, Revelator, you know, Revelator, it's, Revelator, it's, can you hear me? it's interesting. I believe in God. Revelator. I believe, I believe in Jesus. But at the same Revelator. time, I'm also Hello. Revelator, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So there's a there's a few things. I hear you. Um can you hear me? I hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah I can no. hear you. You're good. So let me ask you this. Okay. So first and foremost, just let me go on. Real quick. So at the first same and foremost, time, dude, oh, hey, Revelator, I have some questions. I don't see the evidence. Revelator. You're gonna actually answer questions, Revelator. Revelator. You need oh, to explain shit. something first. Sorry. You need to clarify on something. Questions. You need to clarify something first. Okay. All right. One. Do you believe a God exists? Yes or no. There you go. Who's asking me questions? I'm I am looking at the atheist answer text right now. No, I am asking you a question. Yeah, just answer it here. Do you believe a God exists? That's what he asked you. Yes or no? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. Do. So you believe it? It's fine. I do, do believe, believe a God, God exists. exists. Okay, that's fine. You believe time, a God exists. Strength, I'm having Revelator, this, um, it's all I... Uh, hang on, dude. I don't know. I guess I can, you can say I'm a part of faith because... Revelator, at the same time, I'm, I'm just still seeing little evidence that such a God exists. But I still have faith that he does exist, but, you know, I need to see some evidence. God 420, can you so hear me? I hope that answers I the hear question. You. 
I hear you fine. Hear you, He's just talking over you. Red Light is acting like he can't hear. I don't think Red, red but he, he responded. Yeah, I can't hear him at all. Can you hear JL Warren? Yes or no? No, I can't. Well, yeah. Uh, Do you have me turned down? That's what I'm trying to Do you have him turned down? Said. No, not at all. I don't have anyone turned down because I can hear every single one of you. Hang on a sec. Yeah. Uh, oops. I think it might have been his mind. Yeah, I- so my first question was, real quick, yes, you do believe in a God. That's fine. Great. Second question. How do you qualify something as a miracle? <clears throat> Did you hear that? How the do I qualify as something? Yeah, I just heard that one. I yeah, heard that. It short. Okay. <sighs> How do I qualify something as a miracle? The only thing I could really see as something being a miracle would be if there were a, a third world war with a nuclear apocalypse, right? And we would be what, and the, those who'd be the lucky survivors, that would be a miracle because they would have survived. Because a nuclear apocalypse would be just that an apocalypse. Or if something like Yellowstone and the ring and, and the entire ring of fire erupts, the ones that would survive. If you were to survive that, I would I would say that would be a miracle because. You so know, in your conception, the miracle just translates to event which is unlikely. Yeah, like yeah, that, that's would, unlikely. Like, yeah, like the lottery being like over a billion dollars, and like you know half the nation is playing, and yet only one person wins. That's a miracle. Or if a woman is infertile, or she was du- she was deemed infertile or barren, yet she somehow managed to have a baby anyway. Yeah, just okay. that which is unlikely is what you're. Yeah, you're because yeah, that's why we just heard misdiagnosis. Error. Misdiagnosis is unlikely, but it does happen. And right. you know, so it literally by the definition is just something that's uh, an unlikely event or something that the like a horse of a thousand to one actually winning is a very unlikely event, but it does happen. So every time a horse that was put at a thousand to one won then that was a miracle. I would define it slightly different. I would define a miracle as an event that should not be possible to happen, and that happens. Like a, you know, a like woman getting birth, back well, hey, the like, dead. like the dead rising, or, yeah. or a woman giving birth without ever having had sex. <laughs> Correct. A true virgin de- birth that is demonstrated to be just that. So I think that there's something suspect with your definition. I think there's something a little suspect with how you define miracles. Um, I just wanted to address that, but going back to the first one, you said that you believe a God exists, that there exists a God out there, which means since you believe it, there is evidence that convinced you that this God exists. So I'm very curious. I'm sure everybody is. What is this evidence that convinced you that God exists? Evidence that you can you know maybe sh- share with us. My very existence. You know, I think of, I, you know, I asked the question, here's the question that I asked myself. Why was, uh, you know, and hopefully this will be um, okay for everyone to hear. Hopefully it doesn't trigger anyone, but fuck it. Um, anyhow. So why was I born in the United States and not any third world country, okay, or or in any country that's very poverty stricken? Why was I born a middle class white American and not, per se, an Asian American, like Vietnamese, the son of Vietnamese immigrants? Why was I born in this time period and not any other time period? Like why was I not born in the time of the Black Plague? Or the time of the Second World War in Eastern Europe, in Russia, where you had the Battle of Stalingrad. Why was I born in these in the darkest of times? Why was I born here in a in a bright time? And why was I born in the superpower known as the United States of America, and not in per se Germany or say Sudan? Just you know, at random. Why was I born in this country? Oh, you, you keep, keep power in the when a mom and dad loves each other very, very much. <laughs> 
But I mean, <laughs> we could go down that, or we could go down the fact that the population right now is higher than it's ever been. I mean, that your analogy in saying, why was I born here and now, is the equivalent of saying that those that were born back then prove that God doesn't exist. I mean, it's, it's no, I mean, you can, and pretty much human beings can ask that of, of all, like, of like, like, why, like, think about humans who were born at the peak of the Roman Empire and were, were people that were born at the decline of the Roman Empire. Why was I born now as the, as, as you know, as everything is falling apart instead of why was I born here? It's like, you know, like, very things, you know, like people who are in third world countries, or why was I born here? It's just, I mean, everybody asks the same questions. But the problem with it's the not question that, that you're asking, but the problem with the question you're asking is that you are automatically assuming, you're assuming from the get go that there's a reason you were born, other than mm-hmm. you, other than it being a consequence of your parents having sex, that there is some external agential reason as to why you exist. You assume that there is one. When there's no evidence that there is. <clears throat> yeah, but yeah. like. Go ahead, Revelator. Yeah. I like, none of these factors make any sense, though, because there are plenty of people who still believe in a God, but also weren't born as middle class American white dudes. As a matter of fact, the majority of people who believe in the existence of a God now and in the past were not middle-class American white dudes. So I don't see how any of that has anything to do with believing in a God. It's the fact that I was born in the most prosperous time in world history. This is known as the long peace, the post-World War II long peace, the 80-year long peace, peace time. And this isn't a normal circumstance for human civilization. Okay, yeah, but no, there, there's plenty of time periods where that wasn't the case, and people still were born and still believed in God. Why Why does you being born in a place of, or in an era that's primarily peaceful, mean anything, have anything to do with God existing? Because I would think that, I would, you know, honestly, what would get me to not believe that there's a God involved. I would think if I was born in a really awful environment in a very dark and gritty time period, I would I would honestly question why would God put me there? You know, other than for some sort of purpose. Well, you uh, you and assume that, see that's the problem that the question you're asking is already making assumptions. One, it assumes that there is a God, and two, it assumes that you were put here for any particular for any particular reason. So we have to examine those things before we ask the question, why was I put here? You know, or like, like, were you even put here? Or are you a consequence of natural process, like people having sex? Which is what you essentially are. The you that is you is you because your parents' genes were coupled and made you. And then your environment, your parents, your peers, everything around you. Could you know help to help you construct your personality in the way it is now? No different than mine back in 1980. No different than anybody else who happens to be older than me. No different than my brother who was five years younger than me. No different than my nieces and nephews who are considerably younger than me by decades. So, yeah, that's how it works. That's what happens when yeah. mommy gets together and daddy does the doodly doodly with your mommy. So we, so Revelator, we know for certain, we know for certain that you are a product of your parents' union. Okay, of uh, their of their coupling. Of uh, yeah, uh, your parents fucked and they had you. So we, kn- <laughs> so we know that you're. We know physically that you are a result of that. That is the reason you exist. Mm-hmm. Okay, so does there have to be? anything other than that in the grand scheme of things yes there has to be something greater than you are a result of your parents having sex no he wants yes. there to be I, okay there that's right that's where i'm leading with that's where i'm going with. <clears throat> is that so is it that there has to be or that you want there to be because they're technically i would say there to has Mm-hmm. Huh? I don't know about I don't, that. I don't, I don't see anything that logically necessitates what Revelator wants. But anyway, uh, in it's other news, 
in other news, in other news, um, the thing that I had originally wanted to go do when I got off here uh, has been canceled. So, yeah. Hey, King not, Xerxes, check out the atheist answer text. Someone <clears throat> wanted to talk to you. Yeah. Um, I think so what, I, all, what I'm saying connect. is that we're not we're not ending as quickly as I had previously said because I, I now no longer Your have ballroom. anything else to do tonight. That's why I spoke of that. Room dance in class got canceled. Do what? <laughs> Ballroom dancing class got canceled, did it? No, uh, the, tender, no. the tender day. The tender day finally sw swiped left. Uh, no. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are all way off base. The grinder app crashed. At a reasonable time. <laughs> I guess not. I'm gonna stick this one out. Hopefully, all glass too. That's what she said. <clears throat> so, so, as the actress said to the bishop. Uh, so, revelator. Um, why does there have to be? some grander purpose, some grander agential purpose for you, specifically? Well, for me, I mean, for me, also for, I would say for most other people, one second, I just got a text now. Simply, <clears throat> contingency. That's how I view it, anyway. It's contingency. And this isn't, this wouldn't just apply to me specifically, but to everyone else. I just don't see how this, you know, not just me and my existence, but the Earth's existence. Isn't that an argument well from incredulity? Isn't that an argument from incredulity? Yeah. You just, yeah. you just can't understand it any other way without God, so therefore God? <sighs> mm, no, you know, from, you know, really. Almost all observable things are contingent. There must be a supernatural. There really must be something that's supernatural. You know, not well, this. No, this is just this is literally just incredulity on your part. Yeah, it's it just comes down to a, to an argument from incredulity and a willingness to fill those gaps in your knowledge with something that you want to be there instead Anywho. of simply instead of simply accepting that it's a question mark that we don't know. There are some things that we don't know as a human species. We don't yeah. have enough data to make a determination. So we so, accept the question mark. Because I had initially believed that we were going to be ending sooner than usual, I let this conversation go on a little bit longer than I normally would have. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next person. And there were a couple of people in the chat that I wanted to get to. So thank you, Revelator, for coming on and speaking with us. <clears throat> so uh, to Rat Attack, if you're still listening... <clears throat> 